to responses. The member from Timiskimi Copper. Thank you, Speaker. It's always an honor to rise on behalf of my uh, NDP colleagues and today once again speak about the agri-food uh, sector. And as a farmer, I often say that uh, farmers are the cornerstone of the industry. But if you don't have the processing sector and the distribution sector, all you've got is a stone and no industry. And farmers realize that. And it's very important that we recognize how much the processing sector, the distribution sector, creates jobs in this economy uh, it, for the overall province, but the farmers as well. It's incredibly important. It's important to recognize the Food and Beverage Association of Ontario for their work and their newest uh, venture, A Taste Your Future, because we all know an industry is nothing without its people. And to train, to show people, to show young people the future that they're the future careers they could have in this sector, it's a very good initiative. I could like to congratulate them. It is, it's odd though, that we stand in this house to talk about the good, and the, and the provincial government and the federal government help contribute, and we stand in this house and we congratulate. But we also have to mention the things that we don't talk about or the ministry doesn't talk about in this house, the cuts to agriculture, the cuts that could make a difference to creating even more jobs in this province. You know what, $25 million less in the agricultural sector? That's about the same as the cornerstone of the industry was asking for the risk management program. <laughs> so they didn't get that, and instead they got a $25 million cut. Those are the things we should also be talking about. If this government is really serious about helping to promote one of the strongest sectors in this province, and in the immortal words of Don McCabe, it's number one because you can't eat a car. It's always number one. But if we're really serious, there shouldn't be cuts in the agriculture budget. We can always argue where, the, we, know where we should have less and where we should, but if you're really serious about the number one industry in this province, the only industry that grew during the recession and continues to grow and has always grown because it's always been there just chugging away and the government thinks, oh, we'll, we'll chip away at it and they won't notice. They are noticing. You want to help agriculture, don't continue your cuts. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you.